So today it is a bit of a rainy, gloomy day, but we got something in today. So it's time to go see if it'll fit. This is one of our big necessary fixes, and that would be my gas tank. I listened to you guys in the comments in the last one, and I had one guy comment and say, check out Orion, they've got these. They're like a hundred bucks, which this was, but they do stock them and ship them. And I actually got this within about a week of ordering it for a uh, hundred dollars plus some shipping. It's a little dusty. Inside of the tank though, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it does look like they coated it with some sort of oil. So hopefully there's not too much flash rusting. Everything I'm doing is kind of what I think is best. Uh, if I screw up royally, let me know in the comments. But regardless, uh, obviously I'm not having professionals walk me through this. I'm learning as I go. So wish me luck. We're going to get this thing out. And then we're not going to be able to put these panels back on because all the screws here and on the other side are cross-threaded or wrong. Like these are all like just weird. So I'm actually gonna get all new screws. So I'm gonna take some of these that have usable threads, bring them to a hardware store near me, match the threads up, and uh, we'll get the body panels on soon enough. But first, let's get this thing installed. All right, so the first order of business here is to drain the gas. So what I've got I don't know how much of this can be shown in the camera, but this tube on this end is longer, this one's shorter. Short tube goes into the tank, and the long tube down into your reservoir. I know this is good gas, so I'm going to try to save it. And you just basically squeeze it a couple times. You don't have to suck on the tube or anything and, you know, drink some gas. We're going to get this tank out of the way for a second. first order of business before anything is to make sure that this guy fits in here. Does it appear to like it fits? Check that out. It fits. Cool. Uh, get ready to drain some of this gas. Won't be able to get all of it. There we go. Now we're draining. It's probably a good idea to be wearing gloves when you're doing this. I just forgot to put my gloves on. I've got some right here. Now that it's actually coming out, you can see we got a decent flow. Run all the way up here, straight out of the gas tank. Still a little bit left, but I got a good amount of it drained. So now, now we're gonna go down below. If you're working with automotive fluids, good idea to have catch can ready. So what we're going to do, first get this stuff off. There's a seat. Seen better days, for sure. But, still a seat. So in the front, in that bottom part, we had a nut and a bolt and a lock washer on the back holding that in. So now, this should come right off, which it does. All I have to do is disconnect the fuel lines, a couple of bolts, and the tank should lift right off. All right, just like that, other side's off. These bolts were uh, fun. Check this out. This one's just about circular inside. I had to jam a big Torx bit into it to try to cut a little bit so I could get some grip. So, these are junk, but no big deal because I'm planning to get new ones anyways. <sighs> so, I don't know if you can tell, but I've got some real high quality hose clamps here. They do work, so... Say what you will. Now's when if you've got some safety glasses, put them on. I have sunglasses. You're going to want to direct this hose right into that tank. Because there it goes. It's going to be dripping for a bit. We're just about drained. 
Now this is going to drip for a while, so make sure you've got some uh, paper towels on hand, which I neglected to do, sadly. So I'm going to have to go run and grab some. whole point of this whole thing is you don't want gas spilling everywhere, right? Alright, so I'm going to keep that there. Now we're going to get the tank off. You might be able to see that the gas tank is held on by two bolts. One right here, and there we go. There's one down here. This bracket is not connected to the gas tank, and it should, and it broke off, and I believe that that's why the tank started leaking in the first place. So that's, I believe that that broken bracket down here is what gave this tank so much motion, flex, and started a crack going here. Alright, so that's the bolt. And now, there's still some residual gas left in this tank. I'm going to try to get it off and over the catch can as well as I can here, but I'm going to have to bypass some of this stuff. Oh gosh. That was bad. The tank's pretty much empty. We need to get some things off here. We need this, which is the mounting screw for the seat. And then we need the fuel line and filter. We need a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm just gonna pop this out. Okay, comes out easily. Yep, there we go. That's gonna go right into our new tank. And now we gotta get the fuel lines off. I have some of this fuel line material here and I do have a filter although it seems much smaller and I'm not sure if I'd get the flow I need so I'm gonna do something in the middle I'm going to replace this fuel line here but I'm not going to replace this filter because it is so much smaller it may work fine but I'm gonna hang on to this one for a little longer so if I can get something that matches it a little bit more closely I mean, this line is cooked. This line is well beyond cooked. Check this out. No way. That filter is plugged up with something. Looks like rubber. That was a good idea. That was one of my better ideas, actually. Alright, new tank. And I don't know if this is like OSHA approved or whatever. I don't know if I really care. I'm gonna pour a little bit of gas in here and slosh it around. Let it drain out a little bit. You can see this rubber here is like degrading, and I'm pretty sure that is what's in the filter. That chunks of this stuff so we'll have to deal with that at some point soon to, I'm going to install the new fuel line right away and in order to do that I'm going to get a little bit of Dawn just put it on the outside so let's see if I can get this on here oh yeah no problem I do have to get this one bolt here off that is smaller than a 10 millimeter yep 8 mil. As much as I'd like to Loctite these new bolts in, I'm not going to because I'm going to have to replace the carburetor really before I drive it much more. So I'm just going to temporarily attach everything. First, let's see if everything lines up. That. So that lines up. That lines up. Because of that fuel filter and because you know I don't have hose clamps on my lines, I'm not really gonna run the bike a lot, but I do want to put some gasoline in it so that it doesn't corrode. Alright, 
right, check for fuel leaks. Forgot one more thing. We got to put our seat on. So this guy should screw right in here. Down. Cool. Looks good.